It's changed this year to be a head-to-head -head format only. So we're doing individual runs, time trial to set the seeding rounds, and after that, it's all head-to-head. -to -head. Um, today, we're gonna go as fast as we can. Uh, basically, the fastest guy races the slowest guy, so you have a greater chance of advancing uh, once we get into the final rounds. Um, so my plan is just to do the best I can and uh, hopefully get a nice high time, so that puts me against somebody who's a little bit slower that might give me a little bit of an advantage. The athletes are much more prepared. Each year it's getting more difficult. It's amazing uh, location and races. Well, really well organized everything, so I enjoy it a lot here. So for me everything's really new, it's a little bit nerve wracking and I said that I wouldn't let it get to me and now it's getting to me. Today is a game on, so the mood changed, the competition start and uh, here's where you can see who are more experienced than, it, than others. I'm definitely uh, one of the least experienced here, a bit of an underdog. So, I mean, for me, that I feel like I have no pressure at the end of the day. Uh, some of the big dogs that are just over there, then they sort of need to perform, whereas I don't have any expectations. So I just want to try and surprise myself and maybe get through a round or two. Nice to have all the new people here and may the fastest person per race win. Everyone is smiling. What do you want more? A good timing, maybe. Yeah, that's what I want. <laughs> and my heart is pounding. I'm driving my mouth. I'm super amped up for what I'm about to do and um, afraid of doing mistakes, you know, it's the whole shebang at, uh, at the same time. It's a lot of pressure, but it's exciting as well. I, uh, I basically came here with the intention to just, you know, have fun and enjoy the experience and just see wherever I end up as a bonus. But uh, I definitely have to say now standing here, of course, you're getting super, super anxious. You know, I'm actually here and more uh, watching my team doing what they're going to do than, than myself. The last couple of days have been about practice and uh, finding the right line and the right pitch. Uh, for me, for sure, it was a reality check uh, coming here, uh, let's say, um, a leader from boss and seeing uh, the first jumps, uh, I was almost on the bottom. So I had to really work the uh, last two days to adjust my flight to the course uh, to slowly bring myself back up. Uh, for sure, it's not easy. Of course, uh, some experience in competition is going to is going to help, but uh, I'm sure everybody here has competed in sports and has had some kind of competition in, in their lives. So, uh, you know, I think it's uh, anybody's race this week for sure. Um, I think everybody here is the best at what they do and they've all worked really hard and uh, it's anybody's race. I've actually got a little bit of a different strategy today. Uh, we did some analysis last, um, some analysis last night of the GPS runs and also the geometry of the actual course. And I sent it to a good friend that uh, works at the Rebel Air Race, and he said I can shave off half a second of my time uh, if I shallow out my initial dive a little bit and uh, then sustain that speed down the course. So rather than go for an absolute top speed, like 135, 136 miles an hour horizontal. Bring it down a little bit, but glide it a little more. The cool thing about these races, I mean, let's back it up. Yes, the suits, the suits are all performing about the same in flight. You know, with the, you have the pilot variable. After that, you have the human factor. You have a lot of different variables. Like we were exiting a cliff. You know, everyone has a little bit different line, a little bit different technique coming off here, a little bit different technique flaring at the end. Maybe they're flying a different line. So I think the the suit part of it is is being real minimized, and the, the human factor is coming out. And that's what makes this cool. You know, that's what that's how you can't just sit here and pick your winners standing here. If we actually have to go compete, you know, you have to see how the humans fly. Landing area is ready. Timing is ready. 